Hello, welcome to this briefing. We are going to talk about engine stall, the way to detect and to recognize it, and the way to manage this phenomenon. What is an engine stall? From the flight crew perspective, the engine stall is one of the most startling events during takeoff or during flight. Basically, an engine stall is a disruption of the airflow in the engine. When the compressor blades stall, they are no longer able to compress the air from the front to the rear of the engine. In some cases, there may be a breakdown of the airflow when the high pressure air at the end of the compressor can reverse flow and escape from the front of the engine. An engine stall can have several causes. An engine deterioration, like compressor blade rupture or eye wear. Ingestions of foreign objects, like birds or ice. A malfunction of the bleed system. For example, when IP check valve open at low engine speed. A malfunction of the engine controls. For example, fuel scheduling or stall protection devices. A significant disturbance of the airflow due to weak turbulence, non-appropriate use of the stress reversal after landing, or lightning strike. How to detect and to recognize it? During takeoff and high power settings, the engine stall is characterized by one or more very loud bangs, usually compared to a shotgun being fired a few meters away, an instant loss of thrust, and sometimes even a reverse thrust. This can cause a yaw movement. You may have a fluctuation of the engine parameters. The engine may give the impression to pump. You may also have an increase of the exhaust gas temperature, the EGT. In addition to these symptoms, you may detect engine vibrations and flames may be visible from both ends of the engines, sometimes misleadingly reported as engine fire by tower. Also, in some cases, acrid smell can be reported in the cockpit. During cruise or at low power, the engine stall is characterized by one or more muffled bangs, sluggish or no stress level response, fluctuation of the engine parameters, increase of the EGT, engine vibrations, or acrid smell in the cockpit. You may also have an ECAM alert engine stall. Note that the FADEC is not able to detect an engine stall in all cases. Therefore, if the flight crew detects one or a combination of the engine stall symptoms, the flight crew should suspect an engine stall. In the case the FADEC detects the engine stall, the FADEC will try to recover from the engine stall. How to manage this phenomenon? Knowing this, one important point to keep in mind is that the engine stall procedure is not a memory item and therefore no immediate actions are required. For all Airbus programs, whether the engine stall is detected by the FADEC or by the flight crew, you shall take the time to assess the situation before applying the procedure. When the engine stall is confirmed, apply the engine stall procedure, ECAM or QRH, which usually has the following steps. Once the aircraft trajectory is stabilized, you first have to reduce thrust to idle on the affected engine. For some engines, select the anti-ice arm in order to increase the bleed demand. Then, check the engine parameters. If the engine parameters are not normal, fluctuations, increasing EGT, you should shut the engine down. If they are normal, 
you should slowly advance the stress level. If an engine stall occurs again, keep stress below the stall threshold, but do not shut the engine down. If no engine stall occurs again, you can resume normal operation of the engine. Finally, if possible, keep the engine running. Even at idle, the engine powers the hydraulic, electric, and bleed systems and produces less drag. To conclude, the engine stall should not take the flight crew away from their primary task, that is fly the aircraft. Know how to recognize it in order to reduce the surprise effect. Remember that most of the engine malfunctions are now covered by an ICAM alert. Trust the ICAM and apply the corresponding procedure. There are still exist cases for which the engine malfunctions cannot be fully monitored, especially on F320, F330 and F340. Therefore, assess and confirm the situation before applying any procedure. If you are not sure of your engine state, keep it running, especially after a bird strike or an engine stall. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you around for the next one.